Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back. We are going to do a whole body workout today, uh, just light cardio, but a lot of toning, um, head to toe, getting it all done. This one goes out especially today to one of our friends from Living Fitness, Laura. This is for you. Hang in there, stay strong. We are going to start, um, I've already stretched out and warmed up, so if you haven't done that, do that because we're not going to start out easy today. We have a full body move to keep us going, so turn your music on and let's start it up. Both feet on the ground. We're going to walk our hands out, walking your body weight out. When you get out into your plank, we're going to twist one hip towards the ground, other hip towards the ground. Walk your hands in towards your feet, and your hands can actually stay on the ground. You don't need to lift them up for this. We're going to go to 20. All right, let's get it going. Hands down. Walk out. You're going to twist right, twist left. Walk it. Hands in towards your feet. That's one. Walk it away. Twist, twist, hands walk back in, that's two. This is a tough one to start with, but we're gonna do it. Twist it, twist it, walk it in, hands stay low for three. Feel that hamstring stretch as your hands walk back towards your feet, right hip, left hip. Walk your hands in, that's four. Walk it out, twist, twist. Hands walk back towards your feet, that's five. Walk away into your plank. You can do this part on your knees if you need to, just give it a slight rotation each way for your hips. That's six. Bring it out. Strong into your plank. Stomach tucked up. Hip twist both ways. That's seven. Hands stay low. Walk it back out. Right twist. Left twist. Hands walk in. That's eight. Bring it out, twisting here, right, left, back towards your feet, that's nine. Hopefully your hamstrings are feeling a little looser now. Right to left, back in. Next time we're gonna twist left first. Walk it out, twist left, right, bring it all the way in, that's 11. Told you we weren't starting easy today. Twist, twist, bring it in. That's 12. Hands walk away. Left hip, right hip. Walk it in. 13. Those warm ups are important. Walk away. Twist, twist. Hands back in. 14. So take some time to do those on your own before you start our videos. Twist, walk in for 15. We're just assuming that you do that part on your own just in the interest of time. Twist, twist. Bring it in. We have four left. Hang in there. Bring it away. Walking out with your both twists. Hands in. Last three. Walk it out. Left hip towards the ground. Right hip. Hang in there. Bring it in. Two to go. Walk away. Left hip. Right hip. Hands walk in. And we have one more. Bring it out. Left hip touches the ground, right hip, walk it in. This time walk your hands all the way in towards your shoes. Slowly stand it up. Make sure you don't get lightheaded. Good job. All right, grab your weights. We're gonna go to work on your back. We're gonna do some standing reverse flies. So on this one, butt goes out, your back is flat. We're gonna bring the weights out and squeezing your shoulder blades around your spine. So you don't want a rounded back, you want to be flat so you don't pull this through your lower back. Bring it here. Ready? One. Bring those weights wide. Two. Three. If you stare straight ahead, four. That can help take the pressure off your lower back. Five. Squeezing your shoulder blades around your spine. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. One. Big squeeze, butt out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn back to the front. One weight can come to the ground now. We're going to stay with your heavier weight for the next one. We're going to bring your feet to shoulder width. Squat down with your butt back. As we switch, so we're going to lay the weight on the ground, pick it up with your other hand, 
Swing this wide and up over your head. Weight comes to the ground and switch. Here we go. Bring it down. One. Good form on your squats. Two. Three. Four. It's a big straight arm swing. Five. Working on your upper back and shoulders. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten to go. Keep switching sides. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good form on your squats. Knees behind your toes. Eight. Nine. And ten. Way to hang in there. Grab your other weight. We're back to those standing reverse flies. So butt out, lower back flat and protected. Big squeezes here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Squeeze and ten. So we're going to hold both weights in your hands. These get too heavy. Switch to just one. We'll touch those side to side. Right leg comes behind us. We're going to lunge down as we drop the weights behind our head. Push straight up for your triceps. Back knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switching sides now. Drop one weight if you need to. Going back to that same tricep move. Here we go. Left knee touches. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. And eight. Good work. Moving on to some shoulder work. So we're going to start with your palms facing you. As we bring these out, we're going to twist away, push straight up, down, and back around. Call a shoulder swirl. Strong for your core. Here we go. Bring it out, push up, down, one. Lower arms parallel to the floor. Two, three. Keeping your back strong. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't sway your back. Ten. Strong and steady through your waist. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Last four. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Way to hang in there. Quick drink if you need it. with some plank work, and then we're gonna move into our push-ups. So we just worked on shoulders. These will work on shoulders, chest, a little bit more core involved. So starting in your plank, we're gonna start in a full arm plank, 
and we're just going to reach one foot under and touch your hand to your opposite foot. If that's too much, you can do these on your knees as well. Just bring your knee up and touch your alternate hand, okay? In that case, then make sure you're stretched out enough that you feel this in your core. All right, so we're gonna do a set of our touches, then we're gonna add in some push-ups. So starting in your plank, right hand, left leg moving. One, two, try not to twist your body. Three, four, going to 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay up in your plank, 10 push-ups, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Don't drop your knees, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to those push-ups. 10, these can be on your knees. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't go down yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Push ups, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set, stay strong, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last set of push-ups, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, very nice work, Stretch that out. Good job. Let's switch to some core work. So if you lay down on your back, on your mat, we're gonna start with your right leg moving. So you can either hold your left leg off the ground or you can let your heel rest. Hands are supporting your head. You can even rest these on the mat if you want or you can hold your head here. We're gonna bring our right leg in, out, little lift, and one. So on this leg lift, you don't want your leg real up high. That's more into your hip flexor. We're keeping this low, pressure in your abs. Right side, in, out, lift, one. In, out, up, two. In, out, lift it, three. In, out, up, four. In, out, small lift, five. In, out, up, six. In, out, lift, seven. In, out, up, eight. In, out, lift, nine. In, out, up, last five. In, out, up, one. Keep them low, out, up, two. In, out, lift, three. In, out, one more. In, out, lift it. Bring it down, nice and easy to the center. Both feet on the ground, tighten your lower abs. Lift, elbows stay wide. Go on to 10, two. Think about those lower ab muscles. Three, look at the ceiling or the sky. Four, keep your chin off your chest. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to switch to your left leg moving now. Remember your right heel can rest if you need it to. In, out, lift it. One, in, out, up. Two, in, out, lift. Three, in, out, up. Lifts are small. In, out, up, five, in, out, up, six, in, out, little lift, seven, in, out, up, eight, in, out, lift it, nine, in, out, up, last five, in, out, up, one, in, out, lift, two, in, out, up, Three, in, out, one to go. Bring it 
nine, keep your elbows wide, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's turn it over on your mat. We're gonna work on the muscles down your back now. So starting at your shoulders, back of your neck, all the way down to your lower back into your glutes and hamstrings. So we're gonna start here. Very important that you don't pull your neck. So as we pull up, we're gonna bring our arms back towards our legs. Our legs will widen a little, we'll come back to the center. So thinking about keeping the pressure out of your neck as much as you can. All right, everything starts off from that. Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five. Don't let your toes touch in between. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Rest, we're gonna do one hold. As we pull wide, we're just gonna hold off the ground, bring it out, lift up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and rest it. Grab a quick drink if you would like and we're gonna stand it up for a little leg work. So this next one, if you have knee problems, you might need to adjust this. You can keep these at regular squats. Just check to make sure your knees are behind your toes. If you're okay, knees not bothering you, we're gonna come down into a squat. We're actually gonna rotate your foot until your knee touches the ground, come back to the center, and twist. So be careful of the ground, catching your feet or ankles if you're outside, be careful on these. So twist it over, one, stay low. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay in that squat, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come up right away, grab your weights. We're gonna move into some water pitchers. So we're gonna start with your weights in front, palms facing you, elbows come up and out. Bring it under one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, how you doing? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Weights go back down, we're going back to those twisted squats. Adjust this as you need to. Here we go, left leg first. One, stay low. Two, three, rotation from your hip, four, five, feel this in your quad, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go, one, stay down in that squat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, nice work. Grab your weights. We're gonna go into a squat with a punch. So go medium to a little bit lighter on your weights. We're gonna squat down, elbows touch, right knee lifts, right arm punches. We'll switch sides. Alternating legs and arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whole body, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, palms are gonna start facing each other. 
So we're going to lift up, palms are going to rotate toward the floor, arms come wide, back in, palms together, bring it down. Important to protect your lower back, stay strong here, not bend forward from your hips. Ready? All right, bring it up, palms to the floor, out wide, one, two, three, four, five, a lot of upper body work, six, seven, eight, we're going to go to 15, nine, ten, five more, one, two, three, four, last one, and five. Rest it. We're going to go back to the squats with punches, starting on your left leg this time. Elbows touch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. One, butt way back. Two, big lift and punch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And ten. Excellent. Let's lay it down on your bed. One heavy weight in your hands. We're going to start on your back. These are one of my favorite ab moves. You have to do them right to make them work, but they're good. All right, both hands on your weights. Feet stay tucked in towards your butt and your legs. So we're going to lift your hips off the ground. You don't want to raise your feet and lift this way. Let your knees stay bent, feet hanging heavy towards the floor. Lifting here. One, think about crunch and release. Two, three, so when your hips come back to the ground, give that little rest. So you crunch and release each time. Seven, keep your feet pulled in tight. Eight, weight above your head is a counterbalance. Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to lift our hips up now and hold your hips off the mat. Ready? Stay here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips tap, lift and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips tap. Lift it up, last hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it down. Hold that same weight side to side. All right, we're going to bring this up. Shins are going to touch your weight. Extend low, hold here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shins touch your weight, hips off the mat. Low and hold, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up high. Ten this time down low. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Last one will be fifteen. Hang in there. Low and hold. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Way to hang. All right, same weight in your hand, switching the hamstrings. So coming up into your hip bridge, we're going to balance on your left leg first. So make sure that your glute is engaged, knee is in line with your hip. And same thing on the other side. We're going to start with both feet on the ground, left arm wrapped around your waist. We'll switch this up in just a second. 
Drop your right arm wide like a chest fly. Rotate your palm. Bend your elbow so your weight touches your left shoulder. One, chest fly to a tricep. Two, both feet on the ground. Three, push your hips up tight through your glutes. Four, both knees are in line with your hips, not out wide. Five, six, seven, squeeze your glutes, pull your knees together, squeeze. Eight, nine, ten, ten more. Squeeze your knees together. One, glutes are tight. Two, feel this in your hamstrings as well. Three, four, push your hips up off the mat. Don't let them droop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Keep your knees squeezed together and 10. Bring it down. Put your weight on the other side. Before we switch, heels are gonna come together. Hands are next to you. So we're gonna push up off the mat. Hips are gonna push to the ceiling. Feel this a lot in your glutes and hamstrings. Knees will drop wide. Here we go. One, soles of your feet are touching. Two, Three, at the top, give it that extra squeeze and push. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We have five more, then we're going to change it up. One. Hips to the ceiling. Two. Strong squeeze, three, four, hold it up there, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay up high, little ones, one, two, these should hurt, three, four, five, knees wide, six, seven, eight, nine, hold up high, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, little ones last time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring that down. So feeling that in your glutes, in your hamstrings. Back up into our hip ridge, we're going to work our other arm as we did when we started. So strong into your bridge, knees, Hold together, glutes are engaged, right arm wrapped. Left arm comes here, one, two, three, four, don't let your hips drop towards the mat yet, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, we have 10 more, keep your knees together. One, not touching side to side, but squeeze toward the center. Two, three, four, five, six, get your hips back up if they fall in. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Bring it down, soles of your feet come together. We have one hold, one set of little pulses. Knees are wide, push up there, hold tight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10, and drop it down. Hope you felt those, I sure did. Grab a quick drink. And we're gonna to switch to a new move called a bear tap. So you can do this on your mat or on the floor or on the ground. Your hands are gonna start underneath your shoulders 
and we're going to lift your knees off the ground. So they're holding off the ground just a couple inches. We're going to lift your right hand, come and touch your left knee. So as you do this, I want you to try to keep your weight as central as you can, so keep it balanced. Try to avoid twisting side to side. A lot of core work, you'll also feel this in your quads. Make sure you're holding your knees off the ground just a little bit. Try not to let them touch, okay? Here we go, holding here, no rotation. One, two, touch low on your knee. Three, four, feel your weight switching. Five, from leg to leg. Six, staying steady. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, one, don't twist side to side. Two, three, four, five, stay low, knees close to the ground. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. All right, using your mat now, if you don't have a mat, you can just approximate this. We're going to go into a full plank on your elbows. We're going to crawl over on our elbows, go up onto our straight arms, crawl back, do some push-ups, and start again. Okay, so on your elbows, one side of the mat, staying in that low plank, move it side to side until you get to the end of your mat, come up onto your straight arms. Bring it over, stay here, five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, down to your elbows. Bring it over, one, that's it, all the way to the edge of your mat. Now up onto your straight arms, bring it back to where you started. Five push-ups here. One, two, three, four, five. Onto your elbows, stay low. Try not to be in a V shape. Try to be in a tabletop. Straight arms. Walk it over. Back to your five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Walk it over. To the end. Straight arms. Walk it back. Push-ups for five. One, two, three, four, Last round, on your elbows, walk it, stay in tabletop, up high, bring it over, finishing 15 push-ups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, great work. Bring your knees under and drop it back. All right, let's roll it back over. Going back to some core work. No weights needed for this next one. Stacking your hands here under your lower back if you need to. Hands can be behind your head as well. We're gonna push your hips up off the mat. Twist your toes right, left, back to the center. Then your hips come down. So try not to let your legs go this way. They're pushing straight to the ceiling. Bring it up, left, right, center, one. Up high, left, right, center, now drop. Bring it up, left, right, center, three. Push high, left, right, center, four. Bring it up, left, right, center, five. Push your hips up, keep them twisted, back, six. Bring it up, left, right, center, seven, up high, left, right, middle, eight. Bring it up, left, right, center, nine, push, twist, twist, center, go into the right first now. Bring it up, right, left, center, one, up high, twist, twist, middle, two. Bring it up, right, left, middle, three, push, twist, twist, center, four, bring it up, right, left, center, five, push high, right, left, center, six, four to go, push, twist, twist, middle, seven, bring it up, right, left, middle, eight, push high, right, left, center, nine, bring it up, right, left, middle, now your hips touch. Let's go back into those bear taps. So on your hands and knees to start, we're going to lift your knees off the ground and do those little taps, holding your body 
in a straight tabletop, trying not to rotate your hips to make that touch. So left hand towards your right knee, off the ground. One, two, keep your knees low. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try not to move your knees as much as possible. 11, 12, go twinge a little. 13, 14, keep them steady. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's do 10 more for fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and drop it down. Grab a quick drink. We're going to stand up and work on your back. Go lighter on your weights for this next one. So this one kind of looks simple at first. Gets a little more difficult pretty quickly. Palms are going to face the front of the room. Circle at your waist, or at your hips, at your waist, at your shoulders. Reach into a V. So your arms are in a straight arm V. You're not overhead, but out here. And bring them down. So we're going to circle once, circle twice, circle again, up into your V. Two, low circle, middle, higher, with your reach. Three, feeling this across your back, especially at the top. Low, middle, higher, four. Bring it down. Circle low, circle middle, circle higher, V, five. Low circle, middle, at your shoulders, into your V. Six, don't push those weights overhead. Low, middle, high, V here. Seven, feel that in your back and in your arms. Low, middle, higher, bring it here. Eight, low, middle, higher, nine. We're going to go to 15, circle at your hips at your waist, at your shoulders, into your V. Five to go. Ready? Low, middle, circle. One, keep your arms extended. If you can't, put your weights on the ground. Low, middle, higher. Two, bring it down. Low, middle, higher. Three, down low, in the middle, circle again. We have one more. Keep that V, not into a shoulder press at the top. Low, middle, higher, into your V, and bring it down. Hope you felt that across your back as I did. Into a little ballet position now. So we're going to add a little bit of hip work, starting with your right heel in your left arch. Fingertips on the ground. Heels are going to stay off the ground on this. So we're going to lift up. For starters, we'll be here. Then we're going to add in some hip work. For the first part, your fingertips will stay on the ground. We're just going to extend your legs. Heels stay up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. We're going to do five more with your heels up. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to switch this just a little bit. Fingertips will still be down. Place your right leg behind your left. So as we bend our legs, this time as we extend to the top, your right arm and your right leg will leave the ground. Left hand, left foot will stay down. Sounds confusing, but watch. We're going to bend here, kick and reach. One, both knees bend in the center. Two, three, four. Getting that side kick for your hip. Five, six, still working on quads. Seven, a little bit of hips. Eight, and calves in as well. Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring it up now. Grab medium to heavy weights. We're going to go to your other side right after this upper body move. 
Palms face each other. Push straight up. One. Two. Head of your weights point toward the ceiling. Three. So your weight stays. Four. Just how it is when you start. Five. Six. Don't tip your weight at the top. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eight more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Switching to the left side. So we're starting with your left heel and your right arch. Everything's staying on the ground for now, except your heels. They'll stay up. Bend and extend. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, making that little switch now. Left leg comes behind your right. Full extension of your left arm and left leg to the side. 15, bend your knees in the middle. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Grab those heavier weights again for your straight up weight pushes. Remember you're not tipping your weight at the ceiling, so your weights are staying in this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, strong through your waist. Ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Rest for a second. We're going back to water pitchers, our last set. All right, weights start here. Elbows up and out. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go. One, I can tell you're getting really close to the end. Two, three, we just have a few things after this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. All right, grab a drink. We're gonna come down to the back. We're gonna work some oblique and add in some upper body. So we're gonna start in a side plank hold, doing punches with your top arm holding a weight. So starting with your elbow under your shoulder, up high onto your shoulder. So don't let your weight sink into your shoulder joint. We're gonna push with our weight straight ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one here. Switch it over, other side. So we have this, then one more side plank move, then we're gonna finish with the whole body move. You're getting really close. All right, straight out, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Turn it back over to the side you started on. So this next one.
one gets a little bit difficult, we're going to be moving our top leg. So you can use your top arm for support. You can also drop that bottom hip to the mat if you get tired. Just give it a shot with holding it up there. Your top arm can also be up here if you want a bit more of a challenge. We're going to lift here. One, two, three, four, five. Lower leg comes just to parallel to the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One last one and ten. Good work. Turn it over. We got to even it out. Can't be unbalanced. Hope you're all doing well as the quarantine kind of drags on. You know, it can feel a little heavy some days, but keep up with your physical fitness. It helps a lot. Let us know if there's other kinds of videos you would like to see. All right, top leg working. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more. You're almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab a quick drink. We have a whole body move coming next. So kind of getting it all in here with our last toning move. Feet are shoulder width apart. Go with your heavier weights. We're going to squat down, come into a bicep curl. Shoulder press, triceps, and bring it back. But way back. Look straight ahead. Two. Head and shoulders up. Three. Four. Five. We're going to go to 20. Six, seven, eight, keep your elbows in narrow at the top of your triceps, nine, ten, halfway through, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, are you ready? We have a finisher. A little bit of a higher heart rate move. We're going to do our football feet to our burpees. One of my favorite moves. It's tough. Get your heart rate up, but it makes you feel great when you're finished. Good way to end our workout. Grab a drink. All right, so we're gonna stay in our football feet, moving our feet low and close to the ground. When I tell you, chest hits the mat for a burpee, we have two sets of 10. So bring it here, football feet. Lay down low, pop it up, one. Ready? Two. Down, three. Low and quick, bring it down, four. Up high, hit it, five. Keep it quick, six. Football feet wide, seven, keep it there, eight, two more here, hit it, nine, bring it up, hit it, bring it up, get a little rest, then your last set, and you're finished here for the day. All right, same thing, last set of ten, stay low, let's go, ready, hit it, chest down, one, go, two, Football feet quick. Three. Go. Four. Stay here. Hit it. Five. Up high. Go. Six. Stay right here. Down. Seven. Right here. Chest hit. Eight. Up high. Down low. Bring it up. Last one. Chest down. Pop it up. Give yourself a hand. Awesome work.
work. Miss you guys. Talk to you. See you soon. Stay strong. Stay positive.